with just one win in 12. Sheffield United have to pick themselves up as well as picking points up with games running out. Ivo Gobic again wears the gloves, having conceded 16 goals in his five games for the club. Mason Holgate returns from a ban and Anel Ahmed Hodzic joins him in the back line with Aston Trusty on the bench and George Bulldog injured while away with Greece. The midfield has had a rejig in recent weeks and today Vinicius Souza starts despite his comments over the international break. He replaces Tom Davis. Oli Arblaster continues in the side having scored for England's elite squad during the break. The line is led by Ben Brereton Diaz and Oli McBurney who's found the net four times in his last five home appearances. The bench has an air of youth about it, but also sees the return of Anis Slimani, who last played at the end of January. Thanks to four wins from their last six top-flight games, this Fulham team is a confident bunch right now and is understandably unchanged today from the win against Spurs. Bern Leno starts a 66th Premier League game in a row in goal. The back four features the recent regulars, but also Calvin Bassey, who starts for the fifth game running despite a knock on international duty. Sasha Lukic continues in the team, having grabbed his first Fulham goal last time out, with Andreas Pereira part of the trio further forward, newly reinstalled in the Brazil squad over the last fortnight. It's seven in seven for Rodrigo Muniz in the Premier League. Since the beginning of February, he's scored more top-flight goals than any other player. The bench includes experience and potential game changes in case they're required, and is also unchanged from the Tottenham win. Tim Robinson, the referee. Andy Madley and Harry Leonard sorting all things VAR. The assumption from many in the football world is that Sheffield United's Premier League race is run. While there are games remaining, though, there is hope for the Blades. But if the host's top-flight future is to be secured, the drive to survive has to begin in earnest now. No more international interruptions. The top-flight blinkers are on from now until May. And with that in mind, visitors Fulham will be eyeing up as high a finish as is possible. An early test of the Londoners' back line and an early touch for Bernd Leno. One of them is about to take the free kick, Oli Arblaster. In towards Oli McBurney, they're queuing up, it's Brereton Diaz who's there. Ahmed Hodzic also trying to make something happen and Bernd Leno relieved to grab it with both hands. Andreas Pereira, maybe a different idea will come to the fore here. Hoshin goes round the back this time and wins the ball. Just couldn't find a colleague with it. Wobi lines up. Pereira fancied it as well. And in the end, it is Gerwich's ball. Good numbers when you can't get any press on the ball. And that's how Fulham will get the overload. And here goes Castagna. Just beaten to the grab by Gerwich. Muniz. Lukic. And is again. And then a wild challenge between the two, really. Muniz and Souza. Strange coming together. In the end, both feet off the ground as it spins into that area. Lukic initially, obviously trying to get his feet sorted, but I think it looks a lot worse. Maybe just the back of him comes off a touch worse, but hopefully both players will be fine. Indeed, both are up and ready to get on with it. Into the mix it goes. And it was Ahmed Hodzic who rose highest. Well forward. Iwobi. Muniz. And still... And the post to Sheffield United's rescue. And the rebound... He's wild and over. Now here's Bogle. No one in the middle, so he had to go alone. And it wouldn't quite dip enough for him. It's been a game of few stoppages in this first half. Few chances as well, it must be added. Here's one, though. And a strike that was completely lacking conviction or quality from Jaden Bogle. He wants a corner and eventually indeed gets one. In from Osborne, plenty coming in on this, including McBurney. An all-important touch to guide it away. Back in from Harmer. Easy for Bassi. Our blaster takes over.
Bremer again. Loves it from here. What can he do? Well, it just wouldn't bend enough for him. The break led by Arblaster and Iwobi's intervention was important. In from Pereira. Muniz with the header. It was a really good header. And Sheffield United breathe a sigh of relief. Well, they talk about quality in the Premier League. The ball is delightful. And this header is so difficult, just using the pace. Just rises and just guides it right across the goalkeeper. Deserve more, wonderful effort, real good quality. McBurney on the swivel. On the charge here is Ben Brereton Diaz. Looking for Harmer and McBurney as well. Sasa Lukic got in the way. Well, everyone stopped thinking the ball had gone out. Sheffield United carry on. Brereton Diaz is there, but can't reach it. Play to the whistle. That's the old <laughs> adage. Pereira back for Willian again. On he goes. Oh, Lukic is there. And two throw themselves in the way. Desperate defending from the Blades. Willian once again saw the run of Robinson. It might open up here for Fulham. It's Iwobi who takes his time. And our blaster was there once again. And has that bright sunshine to contend with in this second half. And that's loose from Tosin. Does it let Sheffield United in here? McBurney, Brereton Diaz! A flash of Sheffield United positivity. Moments like these are what Bramall Lane has craved in the Premier League. Well, there's some positivity, something to cheer about for that cut for Sheffield United to get behind their team. They've been starved of goals and anything of creativity, but Fulham had a, a lot of comfortable bodies in possession. Tosin makes that mistake. But McBurney in a position, sensational pass outside of the foot. Diaz coming across, just sweeps it in, but it's about the quality. McBurney, this is a wonderful ball, easy finish, off celebrating. This is some place that's needed, this type of goal. Well, after so much disappointment on their own patch, that feels really good for Chris Wilder and co. Well, let me tell you, he's been desperate for something, especially here at Bramall Lane, for these supporters who've had to suffer so much. Well, the way this second half has gone, with the opportunities, with the set plays, if Sheffield United are to win this game, they'll have well and truly earned it defensively. Andreas Pereira for Joao Paulinho! What a lovely header! Not for the first time this season, he shows his quality. And Sheffield United's joy didn't last long. Well, we looked at those areas, we said about that, that front post hole on several occasions, and they didn't learn the lesson, Sheffield United, because there was far too much space, Polinio unmarked, he tried to recover it, but he just uses the pace, guides it into the far corner, sensational header. And if you don't mark your men on this level, it gives him so much space, it keeps his eyes on the ball, just flicks it into the far post. Goalkeeper, no chance, but real poor marking for Sheffield United. And it is now his best ever Premier League scoring season, with four goals to his name. How quickly an atmosphere can change. Robinson. Armour again. Free kick. Will you take the foul? Well, they've taken it quickly. Brereton Diaz for
which is bouncing with joy again. Uh, amazing. If this is going to be given, but Oli McBurney just sat waiting. He showed desire, determination all afternoon. But Diaz, it's a great spot. He's returning the favour to his teammate, to his partner at the top of the pitch. At that point, Bernie just waits, shoves off the challenge. Left foot, that weight and delay, and just strokes it in. And there's Chris Wilder. Great delight. Well, McBurney sets up Brereton Diaz for number one. Brereton Diaz sets up McBurney for number two. Sheffield United in the lead once more. I think it's set up nicely for a great ending to this football game. Down goes Iwobi. On goes Arblast. This is McBurney. We saw the run of Harmer. In it goes once again. It's a right old scrap in there. But Sheffield United were delighted to see the ball buried in the Fulham net. In from Harmer. Kept alive, but Bernie's there. Where's it going to land? McBurney, it's in! It's Sheffield United's day now! Surely, after so much disappointment this campaign, they have sprung to life in the Sheffield sunshine. Well, talk about joy for players. He doesn't always get his rewards for the effort that he puts in. He's been determined, he's been dogged, he's been fighting every possible ball or outcome that he has but it wasn't the best of deliveries but they keep it alive at the back post Robinson tries to get it back across as McBurney gets one go at it comes back into him but he then stands upright he waits he's more composed and he just guides it into that far corner off he goes delighted but he just does enough keeps it going and Sheffield United to score four goals you would never have said that coming to the game this afternoon Well, the celebrations have temporarily been cut short as the goal is being checked. Ollie McBurney struck it. The question is, was there an offside in the mix? Well, I think when they're looking at that, and that's the point, because someone's coming from an offside position into affect it after his first effort, and that's the problem. He affects the game as it drops back to McBurney and then guides it into that corner. Will Fulham set up a nervy final few moments? Tom Kearney's doing his best to do that. De Cordova, read in! And he has been on just seconds. And maybe Sheffield United will be denied. Fulham are certainly doing their best to rally. Well, how you introduce yourself to the game. Literally, get it out of your feet, get into positions and areas. Tom Kearney does really well. So he's got wonderful feet and he just sets it over his shoulder. It's a clean strike, it's very, very good. He just sees that far corner. Well, Tom Kearney, wonderful feet. And under a little bit of pressure, still finds the space, but this, wonderful as it sort of comes back into that far post. It's top quality. Traore. In it goes for Muniz! There is another twist in the tail. Fulham's go-to goal-getter is at it again. 
And Sheffield United, from a position of real positivity, have been reeled in. Well, this is an absolute worldie of a finish. Doesn't get any better. Man who's in a rich vein of form, the overload down that right-hand side, nobody could get close. But this, he has no right. It's like a Wayne Rooney-type finish. It is at a closer distance, but the man in form, this is a different finish. You've seen ones where he runs across the front, gets in front of people, but this, the awareness, the athleticism to pull that off. And it's game on again. Rodrigo Muniz is in the form of his life and has just scored an absolute cracker. Fulham couldn't, could they? Well, they nearly could. Tom Kearney. And that's the final act of an enthralling second half. So near and yet so far for Sheffield United. An afternoon that was going their way ends up in just a draw. From the neutral point of view, a forgettable first half and a second half to remember. Honours even, which represents Sheffield United progress after recent big home defeats. But they'll be so frustrated that they didn't hold on for all three. What a game after the break. Sheffield United 3, Fulham 3. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.